Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Today we finally get to install the JMA Racing Grill on the car. All we need to do before that is mount the mesh on the back of the grill and then we'll be ready to go. We just gotta move the Tahoe out of the way. Honestly, I'm really enjoying driving this thing. But you cannot beat the fuel economy of the Fusion. And here's our final look at the carbon fiber grill on the car. It's a little bittersweet, but honestly it served its purpose. Did us really well at Fusion Flood, and now it's on to a better one. In case you missed it in previous videos, this is a JMA Racing Grill. I'm going to link them in the description box down below. And all you need to do is basically just reinstall the mesh to the grill. And it's basically just these little loops right here. So I have this picture hanging kit. It has these little things of wire. And I'm just going to run that through and secure it with that. And it should be pretty easy. You can actually order your grill painted. I was just indecisive at the time, so now i got to do this myself. I was going to do a time lapse, but I kind of figure it's going to be the exact same thing like over and over and over again. It's not going to be like progress in anything else specific. So I'm just going to show you guys how I do one and we can go from there. So first thing I'm doing is I'm cutting off a piece of wire. Then I feed it through the holes that are already here. Just like that. Then I'll feed one end through the grill. Well, through the mesh in the grill, rather. And I did one on that side, so basically this is just going to be to secure it and go from here. Then from here, I'm going to squeeze them together. And just start twisting to secure them. And that's basically it. And you can see just the two pieces accounted for, it's already holding itself in position. Um, granted, I'm still putting pressure on it to keep it there. But in terms of positioning, it's not going to like move around or anything. So now I just need to do about 14 more. All right, guys. So we now have the mesh attached to the back of the grill. So you can see here, it's basically just all this little wire. And I basically cut off the excess and kind of tried to tuck it away. So it's all good. Nothing crazy, though. And now we remove the bumper. And with this, we can remove this grill and put this new one on. So now that we've got the carbon fiber grill off the car, I've laid the rest of the grills out here so we can do a little bit of a comparison. And I did have to sacrifice my original factory chrome grill to help with mounting the carbon fiber grill. So that one's not going to be in this comparison. But to start off, we have the eBay honeycomb grill that I got. And it was originally matte black. I had it painted. Now this thing's pretty dirty because it's just kind of sitting in the garage. But nonetheless, you can kind of see what I was going for. But you can definitely see that the carbon fiber grill does it a lot better. It has a lot more depth. This one comes with the lower section. And it also has a much more refined look because the mesh for the carbon fiber grill is actually a separate piece. Whereas on this one, it's the same piece. And you can kind of see that painting it is a little bit difficult because you're going to have to account for that. And taping it off is not really the easiest thing if you're going for depth. But unless you can see that this one actually doesn't have any backing that's like the mounting process. Whereas this one has the tabs to basically clip in. So this one's pretty easy to mount. This one you're going to need to fabricate yourself. And that's basically why I sacrificed my original factory grill. And then you come to the JMA Racing Grill. Now the JMA Racing Grill is going to be the best quality and the best finish. And in my opinion, it's just going to be the best overall grill because there's a lot that you can do with it. A lot of customization aspects, you can do it with it as well. And it is a little bit of a different style. As you can see, these have the slats. This one is wide open. And then as you can see, it has all the proper mounting points to just clip in like factory. But unless here's the three grills, I'm going to get some measuring tape to show you guys the depth difference between the three. So the eBay Honeycomb grill only measures about an inch and a half at its deepest point, which you can kind of tell because whenever it was installed, you could actually just kind of see it more on the surface. It didn't really seem to have depth. Now the carbon fiber grill measures about two and a half inches, again, give or take. Uh, it's not going to be exact because I'm looking at this upside down. And then the JMA Racing grill is just under three inches, so a little bit deeper than the carbon fiber grill. Now, that is a factor because I have seen some people put like little decals here on the bottom section of the grill, which looks really cool. And I'm actually debating if I want to do that, if I find a cool enough decal or maybe come up with something myself. But I can definitely say that they each have their strong suits. You know, the eBay Honeycomb Grill, it's very inexpensive. It's easy to install. It's a great first mod as well. Whereas, you know, you get to the carbon fiber grill and you get a little bit more of a wow factor. You get the lower grill as well. And it also allows for just a more in-depth look at your vehicle. Whereas JMA Racing Grill to me is basically just going to be that one that kind of ties everything together. It's very clean, has a really nice aesthetic, and 
I mean, I'm kind of honestly just ready to get it installed. So let's go ahead and do that. Now you guys are gonna see the full look of the grill before me because I'm gonna be working from the back whereas you guys are gonna see the front. So you're welcome. And just like that, we are done installing the grill. So I will say the upper one was a little bit easier in my opinion. Um, I imagine that because it's a larger piece, it has a little bit more flexibility, whereas the bottom one felt a little rigid, but nonetheless, they fit, and you can see they're a lot uh, better of a fit than the carbon fiber grills. All you really need to do is just push the bumper with one side and the grill on the back with the other, as you saw me doing earlier. They line up really, really well. You can see it right here. The line that's created is just spot on. So really, really great quality. Big shout out to JMA Racing because this is really top quality stuff. The front end is gonna have a lot more dimension and depth, but now all that's left to do is mount this piece on the back and put this back on the car. So it is the next day. I just wanna install this thing with some sunlight out because it got dark yesterday, but you could definitely do this in a single day, a few hours. I just started a little late. And here it is guys, tell me what you think. I think Thor likes it. It's weird, cause he can like tell when I've done something to the car, like I'll usually gravitate towards that area for some reason. And then of course I turn on the halos cause you guys know that's the look with this car. And honestly these halos are, to me they're getting even more and more underrated. I feel like I don't appreciate them as much as I should. But nonetheless, definitely focusing now on the grill. It has really nice depth, it's one of my favorite things about it. And then you can also see a little bit more specifically behind the grill. I definitely like how it flows uh, with the 3D carbon lip, because while one's kind of giving you more depth going inwards, one's kind of pointing outwards, and I just think it has a really nice back and forth. What do you think of it? Do you like it? No. I think you secretly like it. If that's gonna do it for this video, guys, thank you so much for watching. Little update, we officially have a date for Fusion Flip 2022. It's gonna be on October 22nd. So make sure to mark it down on your calendars. It's gonna be a great event. Hope to see you guys there, and I will see you in the next one.